Hey everyone, it's Hack Luke here. Now, before I start this video, I just wanted to say a huge heartfelt thank you to all of BugCrowd's amazing hackers for the incredible bugs that you have been submitting recently. Just in the last couple of weeks, I've been involved in triaging some mind-blowing P1s, uh, both technically mind-blowing, but also huge impact on some really big programs. So that's been super fun. Now, I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you all about a blog post that I've just released on the BugCrowd blog. Now, because I work with BugCrowd, I see a lot of the submissions that come through our platform. So I have a pretty good idea of the types of bugs that people are finding and what kind of techniques and vulnerability types are currently generating the most success for our bug bounty hunters. And in this post, I wanted to share that information with you so that hopefully you can also have a better idea of where to focus your hunting efforts. Now, I wanna put a huge caveat around this because I can hear people stressing out already. I won't be exposing any secrets in explicit detail. So many of our hunters spend a long time on research and they've got their own techniques that, that have come out of that research, their own techniques and vulnerability types and things. So it would be totally unfair of us to expose those. But here's the thing, you really don't need those type of secrets because most of the bugs are using techniques, uh, sorry, most of the bugs that we receive on our platform are using techniques that are well documented publicly. So all you need to do to start finding them is to focus your efforts in the right places. Now, just to quickly summarize what's in the article, I'm gonna run through some specific types of bugs that people are finding regularly, currently, today. I'm gonna talk about the importance and the prevalence of business logic bugs. I'm gonna talk about building your own niche through security research to aid your hunting efforts. And let me just say, like that's a big trend that we're seeing. A lot of our top hunters are spending a lot more time on research and then they're scaling out like their, their, the things that they discover through their research to a whole bunch of different programs. So that's been cool to watch. And also, I'm gonna talk about the types of bugs that do not yield positive results, even though many people are focusing on them. So there's like this subset of bugs that uh, a lot of people are focusing on because they're super easy to discover. But the problem is, problem is because they're searched for by so many people and because they are so easy to discover, they're always duped. So I'm gonna tell you what type of bugs they are so that you can avoid those and hopefully focus on some higher severity bugs that will yield you better results. So I hope that you will all get something out of this post. If you want to read it, uh, click, click in, uh, on the link that's in the description and I'll leave it there. So happy hunting everyone. Hack Luke over and out.